Black Ops is pretty special today. I'm starting my own YouTube channel, and this is the first cast on the channel. Talk a little bit more about that later, but I really want to introduce these guys. On the right side, in the green, we got my king, also known as B. He is playing as Ukraine. Over here on the left side, we have Fazar. He's playing as the purple, dark purple Germany. So BD's a pretty decent player. He's been uh, about mid-level in minions last season. He's taken on some big games before and played out some really good games. Fazar, on the other hand, he's pretty new. I heard about him recently, like one or two months ago, and uh, he's quickly becoming really good. He took on some big players like Hav, I beat him already, and uh, right now he is just the lord of the ladder. I think he's currently sitting up top. He plays it pretty much constantly. So the map is Decidious Ring. It's a kind of an old map I made for one of Caution's Cups a while ago. I think it's actually a really, really hard map, and I'm really happy to see it uh, come back into the rotation for the ladder pool. I think there's a lot of cool stuff you can do. So after that, it looks like Fozzie's getting a little quick lead there, denying BD his oil. Meanwhile, Fozzie's capturing his back one. Like both players are doing double ref, which makes sense. We'll only start with two mines in this map, so then I have to do like a weird split or push two refs here and sell one. Get you a little quicker vehicle that way too. Fozzie's looks like he's just going to go this way, which is how you can do it if you want to just regular double ref. He's going to come down here and deny Fozzie's oil. He's going to have to retreat that engineer. He's already on top of it, which is good. And then if I was Fozzie up here, I would either... You can camp here. I would probably just either destroy that, because you're not going to hold on to that very long if you try to go for it. Looks like Fozzie's already got his engineers going out. Looks like BD did the ref cell, so he's going to be a little quicker on the, his war factor. You can see he's at 30 seconds compared to 40 for Fozzie. BD came down here and denied this oil, so he's going to hold on to this. I really, Fozzie will be able to take that back pretty quickly. This is dangerous. BD's going to see it, and there goes that engineer. So that's good map awareness right there. Fozzie definitely should have, you should know better in the very beginning just to have your engineer out or one like that. So losing four rifles for an engineer is definitely worth it. Uh, this on the other hand, not so great. You probably should have just kept on around the engineer to use that side advantage, but it's not going to matter too much in the long scheme of things. Although Fozzie's army fight is getting up a little higher. But I think that's just because BD has been doing much as floating. So this one rifle is just going to get so much value just because it's got that extra range bonus. Looks like BD is going to go with an APC first over a Harvester and Fozzie went with Ranger first. So it's more uh, like an aggressive play than it is a macro. Obviously if you just want to get your eco up and running, just go Harvesters first. Fozzie is going to come back here with the second engineer into the hospital. I mean, his allies, the hospital, really isn't that appointment important. I would rather try to cap your own oil, Derek, or, you know, this one up here since you still have vision on it. And BD making the correct decision, just using that APC to kill an engineer. So that's, that's really going to set Fozzie back. He needs to move that APC away. Alright, it's going to look good. I think take one or two more rockets to drop, so. He's going to have to keep it on the back lines around until the SD comes out, which is 9 seconds. Funny enough, looks like Fozzie caught up in a uh, building timing, so BD had him in slow somewhere. This is a good transfer early. I think this patch is the larger patch for him, whereas Fozzie's is this one over here. You can see his is a little bit more evenly harvested, but I think that's just because BD's already up to 5 harvesters. And Fozzie just got his fifth one up. Army values are pretty much the same. Fozzie's capping this, that's going to be good. He can come over here and cap that next if he really wants. Uh, BD definitely needs to do something about that. Otherwise it's just going to... If he, if he allows this to happen, he shouldn't. It's not that hard. Looks like players... Oh, let's see what they're going to do. BD, both of them are going MCV first. Uh, I think a common thing on this map is to go here first just because of the gems. It looks like Fozzie's going to do the same thing. I think this makes sense because it is a nice equal boost. Uh, the only thing is, is you have to kill the wall and your opponent can hear that, so you're definitely telling them without scouting, hey, I'm going here. Sometimes what I like to do on this map is I'll, I'll just attack this and my opponent will think I'm going here, and then this is open. I can just you know send one or two rockets in there and get a free heart. 
one of the interesting things about this map is so you have the single mine here, this double mine, and the single mine right here, and then obviously this one, which is an ore mine surrounded by gems, but you get the most money out of this one, but it goes the quickest, and it's protected the most by the concrete. This one you have to kill some civilian buildings, so you also have to alert your opponent when they go in there. This is the only one that's like free, that, that your opponent won't know you can take without hearing it through the shroud, and then this one's pretty easy to take, it's just you'll crush the fences when you do it, so. You get like some fancy little intuitive scouting just by a... Uh... Oh, it looks like there's uh, something... Ranger went down to some rockets over there, that's interesting. BD should not kill us, yeah. Just take an engineer and cap it, perfect. Then he's gonna move over here. Fozzie's being really aggressive, I like this. He's gonna take this in the back if he wants to, but he'll probably move off this way with his MCV and that'll give him more than half of the map control. So this is a really good move. I don't think BD has this on his radar at all. He definitely needs to eco slide though. It's gonna be pretty broke pretty soon. I want Fozzie up to 67 APM, that's a lot of APM. It's just in place for a turret. I think I would put it right here. I guess maybe right there. That way it covers the ore a little bit better, or if you want to just cover your base a little bit better over there. This pillbox is, is really nice, just because it's a little bit further away, so it's gonna give him more time to react to stuff. Looks like BD went low power for some reason. Probably these two wasn't ready. He's got a lot of base defenses here, so BD's playing really passive against Fozzie, which and I think Fozzie might be a little bit better of a player, so it kind of naturally happens, but just because Fozzie's a better player doesn't mean you don't need to attack, you know? He's pretty much death at all here, so just one or two splits could really do a lot of damage. BD had his army out here looking for something, I'm not sure why. But Fozzie's gonna attack right in front of this. Easy might just use a uh, thumb pretty well. Targeting again. This is not looking good for Fozzie. All his tanks went down. He's not really good engine. Really well for BD. The only thing Fozzie's got going on for him is the macro side. I hear tank again back here. So that's. Yeah, it's definitely gonna kill that arm's true. But now Fozzie really should have pretty poorly with the army. 10,000 to 12,000, so it's not terrible, but I mean, this is definitely enough to take out this even in between the boxes. He's bringing his over to MCD, which is nice. That tank is going to get another harvest, so that's pretty bad. This tank's been a little too far forward. It's going to draw a little extra rocket fire and everything. Once that tank goes down, it's hard to lose a lot of its pressure power. He's focused down the pill boxes, but. I was gonna be able to clear this up with just a. Uh, just the box as well. And over here, looks like Fozzie's trying to break into this. I mean, probably a little easier to do it over here. Looks like BD forgot about his rockets over here. And it seems to be for a little bit. That's fine. Ooh, those are some good crushes. And yeah, pretty much all of BD's army is traded out. And this medium tank still going, almost gets three harvesters, so that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, these two flank towers. Fozzie's gonna have to move MC eventually, but BD's army is kind of. It's got a little bit over here, but I wonder where Fozzie's army is at. Looks like he stopped producing or something. I do not see it at all. It's really weird. I think there's an attack over here that I missed or something? No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like he just forgot infrastructure, which is definitely not good at all. BD managed to push Fozzie off this is pretty important. Because Fozzie's trying to take this half of the map. Man, these tank harasses by Fozzie are doing really well. Definitely gonna get at least two harps here, maybe that third one if BD's not paying attention. That's pretty much BD's only ego right now. He's gonna get an established here pretty soon, but I mean that was a big chunk he could get over there. One more hit and it's gonna go down. Alright, pulls it away. 
Ellie's attacking here. She killed the harvester and then just run away. Yep, perfect. Nope, don't stay. Oh. Yeah, those faces will get you. There's a bad path in there. There's only one sill, so the entry had to go the long way around. So it looks like Fozzie needs to kind of reset. He never looked like he transferred his harvesters very well. He needs to get back in this patch. Uh, there's a lot of background space, so it's very easy to lose an army. So if you see an army, it's important to hunt it down when you can. Maybe he's going to open this up just to check see if there's anything there. But he's going to find nothing. This tank finally goes down. That harvester is super, super, super close, but that's okay. Uh, so placing anything next to a mine like this will actually prevent that cell from being overrun. It won't just go to the cell. Since the cell is a little bit more this one, mine will be less efficient than it could be. One last shot from the flame tower, but it wasn't on the rockets, but oddly enough, he's going to be able to push this back with just these two tanks in the hand for sure. Oh, those rockets got the down. Oh, but the crush is super, super good. That's why I'm tired going back. He's gonna push that off. That mechanic. He was bold, but he's dead. Uh, just get that out of there, Fozzie. Actually, get both those things out of there. You're not gonna win that battle. I wonder why Pity's pushing. I guess it's because he's broke and these harvesters and raps have really done it. He had a harvester here, but I really think it should have been here. He's had this position for a while. Whereas Fozzie's kind of been neglecting this side of the map and he should see this with the Earl Derek right there, but it doesn't look like he's responding, not yet. Move the tank flank up here. Let's see if this gets anything good. We're gonna get the harvester for sure. Fozzie's responding. He might get the SimCD if he flips it down, but he might trade out the army to do it. I think it's better just to do what he's doing here, kill the army. That flame tower is going to get a lot of value, but that also is dead. That was way more valuable of a trade for Fozzie there. And now Beatty's hitting here. Fozzie's all over the map, but Beatty's definitely keeping Fozzie on his toes. It's a really good game. Good harvest. He's still got this little army here too. There's a pillbox, so I don't think he knows about it. Yeah, he has no idea that's there, so he's probably going to die to that pillbox. It's unfortunate that happens. Big army right here. Here's the harvester. Fozzie's bringing up pretty much all of his army over there. Those guys are stuck more strongly. <laughs> Fozzie's doing a really good job, and then he's kind of caught on the command that sits him. He's hard for some of surprise, so that's interesting. Fozzie's gonna come back down here. Yep. They might get that harvester. Oh! I think they're gonna get it on the next pass. Well, unless he runs them all into the pillbox and moves away. That's unfortunate. He's gonna lose all that except for a rocket, but maybe we'll get something there. Beatty's still getting chased back over here. There's a lot of flame towers over here, so Foz is gonna have to be careful with his approach, but he's got enough tanks that it should be okay. Although Beatty's also bringing a lot of army over here. So I think Fozzy, she's gonna go into this, and he's probably gonna lose this army just because this army is kinda hidden. You can see he has no idea that it's there really. He's gonna kinda push in and then that's huge for the Those flame towers are all down, but he's got just a better position. And he's got some tanks left, so that army's dead. Looks like this is coming on over here. Both players are pretty broke. I mean, there's still a lot of war on this map, so they really shouldn't be. And Fazza not having this is kind of make a difference. He needs to get a ref here and then expand it again. Looks like Fazza's gonna be the first to go tech, which is always good. Once you get tech, it's it's hard to lose a game, especially if your opponent just refuses to attack. But uh, BD looks like he had a bad concave here and lost that army. The armor guys are really low for this amount of time in the game, but you just see how much has been killed. BD trading really well, and I think that's what really what kept him in the game, because Fozzie's eco has got to be the most better. Yeah, the difference in eco earned is the difference in uh, unit splash right there. Kind of a wall right here, these tanks could be doing something. That first artillery could do a lot of damage depending on how well it's microed. That one scout is gonna see this. That harvester, or that refiner rather, is probably gonna go down. 
in the grand scheme of things, it's not that important. I have another front tire. It's going to be pretty good. Definitely got its value worth. I think this one's going to be even better. One rocket. I think that was three or four rounds, so it probably traded for value. Oz is going radar gun. He's low power for some reason. Uh, not sure why. He's probably just soft on his defense. He's got a lot of extra ones. Let's see how good his armor pieces are. I can already part of the tank. Let's see if he fixes that. There it goes, but. Decent hit. Doesn't matter, he's still not clean this up. Really unfortunate because he just kind of left out there. He could have been doing a whole lot of stuff with it. Looks like he's gonna get the two tanks out, which is nice. He just needs to get those back to the SD, but they might get punted down. Yeah, but he just didn't retreat really this far enough. But I mean, almost killing a medium tank and single shot is a nice trade. Let's bring down some more army over here. He's got a nice little flank over here. One heart's down, good. Chip with the barracks is fine. He can stop target behind. Target black rock. Nah, he's a little slow. If you just press S, the arc target will switch the attack. But uh, you gotta always try to target air as you can because your rockets will get extra range that way. So, yeah, this army should just retreat. Those two tanks are not gonna die with those two turrets. I mean, you probably didn't know they were there, but still. Ozzy's got this one little flank coming down here. He doesn't have a whole lot of scouts over here. If he goes here, then that's that's going to be a bad decision. I think he should go here and maybe try to get the war factor or something like that. Uh, if he goes here, BD's just going to collapse on it and that army's going to die rather quickly. That one tank finally going down up there. Almost gets another arms here. Let's do that. So BD's ignoring this for now. Ooh, good crushes on the harvester. Definitely needs to be careful. These flung towers just gonna shut down this army. There's only one unit taken, it's pretty much dead. So that was a really delayed reaction by BD there. Here a heavy tank somewhere. This guy was just killing the scout over here. Fozzy should know about it, but he might have missed it. It's very easy to miss stuff like that. And the one pillbox is gonna move in that armor. Or they're just gonna run into that one right there. So we got some wide flanks from both sides. Uh, PD's got this one covered, he knew about it. Whereas this one, Fozzie has no idea about. A lot going on on this map right now. Somehow Fozzie's winning this. I think it's just because the arm was a little too far ahead. That already shot. Uh, misses. There's enough tanks there that this one's gonna end up. We got the harvester there. There's a large army here. I think it's starting to look bad for Beatty. I hear the Black Hawk killing something. Kill this little armor right there. Looks like they got the barracks too, but that's, that's inconsequential. Yeah, Beatty is, uh... Let's see. His earn's about 10k less. It's not super, super bad, but I mean, that's, that's 10k in army value you don't have. He's still maintaining an advantage by AK now, so he's definitely slowly losing this game. I think Klaus is just going to be quicker on outpacing him. And the tech advantage is helping. The Blackhawks and the Artie haven't been super impactful, but they're just putting out extra little pressure on BD. And now he's getting tier 3, and tier 3 will absolutely change this game. He's going to ship this trap. I mean, sure. I think you'd better off pushing in and trying to kill that first. Only we're going down. Doing this is going to be good. It's going to deny Fazer some tanks. Uh, I probably would have gone for War Factory first though if I could. Although, he's got the secondary army, so this could be really good. Catch this army off guard right here. Oh, but the tanks. The tanks are in the back. He's going to lose the majority of his infantry corps. Still gonna do a decent job cleaning that, that army, and he's gonna cause this war factory to go down. That RT might have something to say with it. 
Oh, barely gets it. Oh, that's gonna die. Looks like this entry core guy in here really traded that away. Father's got a nice little flank over here. Gotta be careful. Especially as allies, your tanks can get really far ahead like this, and it's gonna reveal the attack early. Uh, BD is gonna try to expand back there. I assume the tech center went down somewhere, but I don't see it. Oh, that's a lot of tanks on the flank. These, I mean, these flank towers are gonna chip away a little bit, and definitely gonna get a harvester, which is really being to dig in this problem. He really needs that extra eco. Mr. Micro on the Blackhawks, even gonna chip away at the uh, testicle just because he can. The funny thing is, tanks outrange infantry, so as long as you keep them on attacking, they'll generally even kill rockets safely. These four tanks should probably move away, but there you go. It's like I'm speaking directly to Fozzy. BD's really taking a hit on his eco again. That's kind of been the story of this whole game. Still got six harvesters, but he's got one, two, and then three down here, and then this last right here, so he's not really utilizing how he goes as he can properly, but... Fozzy, these, <laughs> these build boxes are kind of in an interesting position, kind of blocked by this cliff and really behind the ref. Fozzy's doing a really good job of Reestablishing his eco after it's been destroyed. And this is a lot of Blackhawks. He probably got these just queued up. And five is enough. This is gonna be a really good idea. Yeah, doesn't even lose a single one. Might even kill that tank and kill the harvester. Uh, oh, so close. Just ran out of ammo too. So big engagement here. This archer really obviously done a lot with that one too. Starting with that for BD. Once his army's done, he's, he's out. His army's 4,000, that's that's not enough. He's losing part of the down there. And, and yeah, that's it. So that was a really good game by Fozzy. He just kind of controlled the game, even though he was trained badly. Sometimes it all that matters is that you're just constantly putting the pressure on people, and you know, you can trade eco for army any day of the week, and it'll work out in your favor usually, unless you're just absolutely just like it this whole army died for one harvester not worth it you know Fozzy did a really good job of his tank flakes just constantly killing multiple harvesters and keep moving around so really well played by them bd yet he just needed to kind of be more cognizant of those tank flanks and everything that's really what sent him behind he was doing a really good job with his own flanks he was just kind of a little slow on him but yeah so excellent game by both players this is my first attempt at a shot cast and i got some other plans from my youtube channel uh, want to do a lot of academy based stuff so I ran some guides last year I'm gonna you know update those to video format I got some map making guides and stuff that are on a release but you know if anybody wants to send me shot cast I'll try my best to shot cast them I know that I had some uh, some problems with casting but that's just kind of how it goes you know I'm not gonna be perfect at this at a start so it was a pleasure for me to do this and I'll see you all next time battle control terminated